Hello again, uh, this is Andrew. Uh, this is a supplementary video that um, talks about how to use the zoom, orbit, and pan tools to move around a 3D space using a trackpad instead of a mouse. So in front of us is a 3D model of the Google SketchUp logo, and we're just gonna talk about how to maneuver around in this space. So in front of me is a my uh, laptop, and I have a camera pointing down at the trackpad as well as the keyboard so that we can kind of see what I'm doing when I'm pressing all the buttons to move around there. So if you remember from our one of our lessons, we talked about how to use the orbit tool to look at the different uh, sides of a 3D object. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with that. So there's actually a few ways to do that. And what we can do is just in the lesson, we talked about going down here um, and selecting the orbit tool. And from here, we can actually just click um, using one hand, um, we can click with the um, button right here and then you have to kind of use your other fingers to kind of move around um, and that will give you the ability to look at multiple perspectives um, from different sides. You can also use two hands as well, click one button down and then rotate it around like that. Um, but you have to click down the mouse button to get the ability to move around and orbit around a central point. Uh, the next tool that we talked about is the panning tool. Um, so again, we can go down to this uh, option right here and we can select the hand button and click it and it says pan. It gives us the ability to kind of move left and right a little bit um, up and down like that so that we can gain more ability to look at our 3D objects. Um, so if I quickly go back to the selection tool, a shorthand that you can do for that is actually to click the uh, H button, which is a shorthand for hand. We can select it and then that gives us the ability, you can see our icon change from the pointer down to the hand and that gives us the ability to kind of move around. And lastly, the other tool that we can use is the zoom tool. Uh, just like before, we can select the, hand, the option down here by collecting the um, zoom tool, the magnifying glass. So what we have to do to get it to work is to press the left mouse button and then we can kind of move our, um, our other hand up and down along the trackpad. And that allows us to zoom in and zoom out. Again, I'm gonna just select the, the selecting tool right here so we can see the comparison. Um, we can also just go ahead and just use um, one hand and what we can do is move again up and down here, kind of zoom in and zoom out. So if we wanna zoom out, we just move it um, all the way up on the trackpad like so. You can see the image gets smaller. And likewise, if we move our fingers down to the bottom of the trackpad, we can get zoomed in a lot more. So using a combination of those three tools, it gives us the ability to move around this 3D space. And what I mean by that, it just allows us to go to different parts of the model. So for example, let's move it back to the other side of this 3D model. And we want to kind of line it up kind of like what it's in the SketchUp logo. So what we can do is we can select the orbit tool to kind of move around our object to the other side. And just like so, we can just move around like that. But you can see we're already still zoomed in as well as we want to shift it over some more. So what we can do is either select the um, panning tool or we can press H on the keyboard and then we can pan it over like so. And then we want to zoom out. So we want to move our um, trackpad like so. And then we want to go back to the orbit tool. And the shorthand for that on the keyboard is just O for orbit. And then we can move it up like that. And that's how we can use those three tools to move around the 3D space using the trackpad instead of a uh, mouse. So that completes this supplementary lesson on how to use the trackpad with Google SketchUp. I'll see you all in the next video lesson. Thank you.